What's up everybody, Claudio here and welcome back. So today I thought I'm gonna show you one of my favorite, favorite tools that I use to create content on my mobile device. My phone is with me pretty much everywhere I go and I'm constantly taking pictures, using them to create graphics, images that I share on social media and anywhere. And this app is amazing, it's easy to use. So I was gonna give you a couple of tips things that I do to create content. But before we go any further, let's run the intro. So my mobile phone has pretty much become my creation hub or center. Like I said before, it's with me everywhere I go. There are amazing apps out there to create videos and graphics. Uh, the one I'm talking about here is Adobe Spark. It's free to use and anyone can create content. You don't have to have a graphic design background, which is awesome. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I do with the app when I'm creating content, give you a couple of tips and hopefully you can go ahead and start creating content yourself. So let's jump on over to the screen in three, two, one. Okay, so here is my phone. Ignore all that craziness there. I do have lots of apps and I do use most of them. I would say 90% of the time, but we are going to go look at the Adobe Spark Post app. Just really quick, so you know there are actually three apps that are part of the Adobe Spark suite, but we're gonna look at Spark Post. I'm gonna create some images or graphics using Spark Post. Now, what you're looking at are templates here. This is the first thing you'll see when you log in. It's gonna give you the options. If you can see all the different types of templates you can use from school content to food, crafts, and so on. If you subscribe to Adobe Spark, uh, you create your own account and you subscribe, I think it's somewhere in the range of $10 a month or so, you can brand your own content with Adobe Spark Post. I'm gonna go and show you my post on the bottom right. You'll see all the different content that I've created. And uh, you can, I can go in and re how can I say remix it, do it over again, use the same one or click on something and duplicate it so that I can keep the original and then just kind of go off what I've already made, make something new uh, or I can delete the content. If you notice at the bottom, it gives you the options to share, but I'm going to go ahead and close that out and I'm going to click on that green plus sign in the bottom and the first thing it's going to ask me is to pull in content that uh, I want to use for my background or to create this image. Um, you can create solid backgrounds, patterns, content from uh, your photo library. You can also take an image and bring it in right there. Let's take a look. And so it's going to ask permission. So I can immediately use it to bring in an image from my camera at the moment in case I don't have a picture. You can also search free photos of uh, Creative Commons licensed content and Adobe Stock Lightroom. And if you are a Creative Cloud user, you can pull an image from there. So I am going to go ahead and use images that I already have in my camera roll or photo library. Let's go to all photos here. I've already taken some images beforehand. So let's use, for example, this Batman one here. You can go and add multiple images, but for now I'm just going to use that one. And on the bottom, you'll see here you have options of resizing your image or your graphics. So for example, if I want to use a Twitter sized image, Facebook, and now you noticed it jumped onto Instagram and now they have some new Instagram sizes like landscape and portrait. You kind of go through here and choose the ones that fit your need. Then you head on over to the furthest right and you'll see different sizes for presentations. It even gives you the ratios. It even gives you ratio sizes, Kindle covers, and so on. So I am going to go ahead and use the Twitter size here. So notice that uh, picture that I took, I really took it with intent to use this in 
spark post. Notice the left side of the little Lego Batman. It is blank, kind of that's my canvas area where I want to use to uh, create or add content. And that's kind of one of the tips that I recommend is kind of think ahead of what you're going to be creating purposefully take images so that you know kind of ahead of time where you'll be placing content that's kind of the approach that i took with this little batman lego so i'm gonna go ahead and click done and right away it adds text for me uh, kind of in a recommended area that can move that around uh, on the lower right corner you see a little logo that's because i have a branded account uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave that brand on the lower right corner. But look what I'm going to do here. So I am going to go ahead and work on this text. Now, if you notice, it says double tap to edit text. So I'm going to double tap in there. And being that it is Valentine's Day as I am making this video, I'm going to go ahead and make it a Valentine's theme image here so let's see here valentine's day uh let's see let's do this have a batty valentine's day and i don't even know if i'm spelling that correct but hey let's just go with that and there he is or i should say there it is let's move that uh, the colors may not be what I want, so that's fine, and the text or font may not be what I want. So if you notice, as I scroll through here, I can adjust the font to make it fit what I want it to be. And let's jump on over to shape. I'm going to show you what shape is. Notice how it says, have a Betty Valentine's. There is a box around it, but if I click on this basic one, notice the box is gone. And I kind of like that right there. Um, oops, let's hit cancel there. That's all right. We're going to start all over. It's okay. Things happen. Let's see here. Let's go back to. And I kind of like the way that looks. Let's kind of move that around there. And the neat thing is here is that you can move this around. I kind of like the way that looks. Um, have a batty Valentine's Day and I'm using that line right there kind of as a as a break point and here's a cool thing about Adobe Spark post notice how the top portion it has a white background and the bottom portion is kind of on that wood grain here's a cool thing check this out I'm gonna hold down where it says day and I have the option to change just that word and I will do that by going to color and going to use white and I could if I want to change the way that font looks like okay I'm gonna leave it the way it was so you can really customize each section or each uh, word separately I'm gonna leave it like that so let me click done here and kind of pretty much I like the way it looks so I'm gonna show you some other features if you notice on the bottom you have add I can add a logo so if you have any um, images from your campus that are PNG so basically they have no backgrounds you can separate the background from the foreground you can add kind of like a logo you can add another photo that basically creates a double uh, or I should say two cells or two areas or you can layer on top and you can also add text I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that and uh, if you click design you can go through and redesign the way it looks so if you don't like the way it looks so let's for example let's choose this this one here notice how it kind of takes on the characteristics of that design and kind of choose a couple more now if you do not like anything just go ahead and click cancel and it'll go back to where it was um, the palette is where you can go through and change colors basically for the whole design notice there i have a brand palette that i mentioned before if you subscribe you can brand your own content so for you schools or if you have your own little business you can brand it um, if not you won't you won't have that brand option if you do not subscribe which is fine then you use the 
suggested or decorative palette. So let's see what suggested look like. So see, notice it kind of takes on the colors that are in the image and that actually looks pretty cool. I kind of like that. I may just kind of leave it there, but to show you what happens when you rotate around. Kind of kind of dig that there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to hit done. And uh, now being that it's Valentine's Day, I may go off and be a little more creative. So because, you know, we got the colors, uh, let's see here, maybe do this one here and see what happens. It's kind of changing the way those colors look. Maybe that right there to kind of fit the Valentine's theme. Let's click done there. And you can resize. So remember at the beginning how I added the image here. You can go through and change the sizes if you change your mind. Um, so let's click cancel. And what you could do is choose effects. And for example, it shows you what happens. Now, what the difference when you're doing this, when you're creating these types of effects, which is really neat. Look how easy that was. Different effects. So if you hit those arrows, it kind of shows you different ways. Uh, if I export this, it's going to create a little movie file instead of an image. So that's the difference. Um, when you add animations, it creates an a movie file instead of an image file. So if I hit filter, you can go through and change the filter of the image. And say, let's give it a reddish tone there. Seeing so that it's Valentine's Day, I kind of don't like that. Let's, that one's kind of cool there. Or go back to the original. That's kind of, let's, 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 let's be a little creative there. Let's do that one. Click done. And next, let's see here. Um, you can further uh, adjust your text. I'm going to go back here to my text and click there. Um, I mentioned style. Now, if I use this uh, little green button, here's what happens. If you rotate it around, it will go through and give you a plethora of styles for your wording. Now, I'm going to click cancel so I don't make any changes that I don't want. You can go and change color. Again, I mentioned font, shape, adds shape to that box. I'll kind of show you. Almost similar to the style, but you can customize it. Align is what you can do with the font. Align it center, right, you know, that there, centered. And notice how the word day gets larger. I'm going to go back to centered there. Opacity, you can change the way that font looks. Spacing is between kind of like what you do in word processing, you know, the lines. And then if you had order of uh, images on your graphic here, you can move things to front or send to back, kind of like what you do in uh, other uh, creation tools. So let's click done here. And I'm kind of going to leave it like that, just plain and simple. Uh, so now I'm ready to take it from here and share it with others. And that's where we go to share. And, and remember, I mentioned that when you add an animation, you have the option to export as a video or you can remove the animation and just have an image. So that's where it says image with no animation. I'm going to go ahead and create a video here and notice it says creating video. Let that process go through. And now here you have the options of what you can do with the image, share it through social media, messaging it, copying a link, emailing, saving the video, and you have more options if on your device, for example, saving it to your Google Drive, using other apps to kind of share it with, which is pretty cool. So let's go back here and let's go to video again, create the video. And now I'm going to save that video onto my camera roll. And now I have it available to share anywhere I'd like. I have a little more control of it. So after you're done sharing, you can either hit my post and it'll take you back to all the different posts that, that you've created and do whatever you want with that image. And that is a quick run through. Anybody can create amazing content using Adobe Spark Post. So here we're going to jump it back onto the video screen in three, two, one. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to create content with Adobe Spark on your mobile phone. 
anywhere you are at and share it with anyone on social media or on the web. So until next time, go out there and create amazing content yourself. I look forward to seeing you again. Please subscribe below. Take care. Peace.